dear woman, learn to live when the relationship is becoming so toxic. Live so that you will live to see the better days ahead of you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Bird. Welcome to the Gym Network. It is not the normal kind of video I will do. It's um, you can already tell my heart is heavy. It is not one of the videos I will do and I will be all smiles because there's nothing to smile about. As you must have seen, a life has just been cut short. This would have been averted, but alas, she gave in because of I don't want to disgrace the church. I don't want to disgrace my family. What would the society say? I am a public figure and every other thing. Just like most women will say, it's even more difficult when you are a public person. In quotes, I have often said that the life in the public is totally different from the life outside the public okay i'm saying that as a celebrity there is always behind the scene life of every celebrity and that is your personal life you don't stay in an abusive marriage just because you want to please people Amos chapter 3 verse 3 can two work together except they be in agreement i think a lot of women that go through whatever they go through and they end up dying Forget about this Bible portion. That's right. It was Paul, an unmarried man for that matter, was given an admonition. So it goes a long way to tell us that crisis in marriage didn't start from now. For an unmarried man like Paul to have a say over married people is a big shame. Some people may want to say. But if you look at it again, in this our context, I mean in this part of the world, I mean Nigeria to be specific, because I wouldn't speak for other African countries because I don't know how it's been done there. But I am believing that in this part of the country, women have been made to go through so much abuse, even right from their parents' homes. And that is the reason why as soon as you get married and there is an issue you are afraid to tell your mother or your father because they will end up telling you didn't you see me living with your father didn't you see me living with your mother that is how marriage is go back and make it work and so for that reason people tend to be afraid my mother this is this is what my mother will say this is what my father will say i have a lot i have a whole lot to pour out here and if you are a single person listening to me I hope you will learn one or two and if you're already married and that marriage is toxic instead of your life to end take a walk this video is about late look at how it sounds late Mrs. Osinachi and to be candid with you I never knew this woman until her death, the whole social media, every handle, just display her picture everywhere. Everybody is talking about her. Yeah, there is a popular song, in case you are not a Nigerian, there is a popular song that came into limelight in 2018. If I'm not mistaken, that was when I heard that song. Ekueme, Ekueme, you are the living God. Is there no one like you? She was the lady that had lived. For that song was elogizing God. I don't know her. I don't even know her picture. But look at she wasn't as popular as she is now in her death. Look at that beauty. Look at this beautiful, ebony colored woman. A beautiful. In fact, looking at her, you know that this person is gentle. Yes, I know so most people will say you don't judge a book by the cover. But from what I have gathered. The clear evidences that I have gathered from people that are close to her. She is a soft-spoken woman. A lot of people that got to know about her abuse got to know it because of their closeness. 
And one thing she kept telling them, according to the one, according to the people that have come up to open up now, is that she said she don't want it to be public. She doesn't want, she wants it to be private. In her words, she said, I am believing God is going to change. God cannot change that situation for you. It is in your hand to walk away. It is always better to walk away. I don't know how many times I should say it. If this lady had decided to walk away without saying, what would my judge say? What would my parents say? What would the society say? I am a public person. What would people think of me? When they say, ah, is it not that woman? Ah, she's no longer with her husband. My people will say, o ka uku ablasa, o kanta ablato. For those that don't understand, my, where I come from, they say, if rumor or if talk go on, it will be for seven days. And if it didn't go on for so much, it will be for three days. And everything will die down. But you still have your life. Look at the four children who are going to take care of them. This was one of the things she was fighting against. One of the reasons she stayed put in that marriage. Now she's gone. And the news had it also that the husband had been arrested. Okay. They said it is throat cancer. Okay. Behind every rumor, there is every atom of word, truth. If, according to the things I have gathered, if you lay it side by side, you will actually agree that the husband is responsible for killing this woman. I would have loved to say that every other person that this woman has spoken to about this abuse, who couldn't help her, who couldn't speak her into coming out of that abuse until her death, also contributed to her death. They are the ones that actually killed her. But I thought again, because people were blaming the pastor of the church, people were blaming the friends and the neighbors and people that have heard. The truth of the matter is that anybody that is going through abuse is only in their hands to remain in that place and get abused the more, or they choose to walk away. And that is what marriage counselors do, or any counselor for that matter, whether on education, on account, on finance, or anything. They only lay it side by side to you. But the whole decision is left for you to make. It was her choice to remain in the marriage. The people that spoke to her into coming out said she said she doesn't want to come out because she's believing that that man will change. And that will bring me to the question. How did you even enter into this relationship? How did it start? It? Every testimony about this man, the husband, you see how handsome he is? Mm -hmm. Every testimony about him is just on the negative, on the negative, on the negative. You tie your wife down and ask the children that she bore to beat her up. Look at the fake smile. Even though the woman is smiling, you can tell that the woman is smiling from the depth of her heart. But you can also tell that the man is just opening his teeth. No woman deserves to die in marriage. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Yes, I also understand. I know of the fact that so many pastors, when marriage issues are being taken to them, so long as it is the woman that are taking this issue to her pastor, the pastor downplays it. How do I mean? She will tell, the pastors always end up telling the woman most of the time anyway. Sister, Go and put your home in order. Persevere. Be a virtuous woman. If it persists, they will say, let us pray. Behind that woman, the pastors meet with their husband and talk as men. And fuel the man to do the more. I understand. One of the comments in one of the comment section, a lady confirmed it. He said the only thing that the pastors will tell them that she is a living witness is that Persevere. Go and do what you are supposed to do. Maybe you are a stubborn woman. Stop being stubborn and all of that. The society in this country has been so unfair to women. And the worst part of it is that even women are the enemy to women. How do I mean? You see a woman that is living peacefully in her home with her husband. You say the woman is controlling her husband. You say the woman is using charm. You see another woman that always have a log ahead with her husband. You say the woman is stubborn. You say she's not respectful. You see a woman that her husband is maltreating. You say the woman deserves it. Everything is about the woman, the woman. And who are the ones talking about these women? It is still women. 
They are unhappy when they see that you are happy. They say it's charm. And I keep asking them, is it not better you do a charm if there is anything like that? Is it not better you do a charm to live peacefully with your husband and your wife than not to do a charm and begin to live in pieces? God did not make marriage for endurance. Read my lips and quote me anywhere. God made marriage for enjoyment. Marriage is not for endurance. Marriage is not meant to lead you to an early grave. Look at this 42 year old. The life is just being cut short because of what the society will say, because her family will not stand with her. You can't tell me that she has not opened up her mouth to tell her mother or her father. Doesn't she have siblings? What about the family of the man? What have they done in this quest? Are you saying they are in oblivion? They are in denial. They are in darkness about what their son is doing to the daughter of another family. Are you saying the parents of the girl are not aware of what her husband is doing to her? You can't say that. They are actually aware. But I'm sure they keep saying, endure. It will change. The time, the things will change. Hey, if you know those things that you do that makes the man to be aggravated, can you stop it? Nobody talks to the man. Nobody. Now this lady's life has been cut short. And she's, she's, she's a celebrity. Even though she is on limelight before, nobody get to see her picture. Nobody knew her. Apart from those small circles. Is it the, how many times the husband have got to cut off singing engagement for her? Is it the, how many times she have, he had to lock her up for her not to go for a particular concert? Is it the way he responds to the people that call her for job? So many news have been flying the internet. Yes, the pastor will share in the blame if he's aware. The friends he have, she had told about it or that knew about it will share in the blame. The neighbors, because they are living in a particular place. The neighbors have seen this woman abused. Yes, I know that it's in the hand of the abuser to get out. But with the scenario that was painted with people that are very close to the, this woman, the scenario is that she fears her husband. There is a difference between fear and respect. A lot of people describe the man as a beast. I mean, why will you marry a man or a woman and you notice that she keeps making you angry and you keep losing your temper? Why won't you take her back to where you picked her from? Why won't you take her back to the family and get married to another woman who would not make you to always lose your temper? Since you don't have control, I mean, it's only beasts that behave like that. No wonder the Bible says the heart of men is desperately wicked. Who can know it? In all, in all, you don't need to stay in an abusive marriage. Your pastor can't help you. Even your parents won't help you. Your husband's family won't help you. You are the one that will help yourself. You say you want to stay because of the children? You have to be alive for you to stay for those children. Get separated. Get divorced. Walk away. Walk away and leave. Let him also leave. The prisons in this country, a lot of people that are in it is as a result of domestic violence. They have killed their parents, they have killed their husband, they have killed their wife, and all of that. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Marriage is not for endurance. Marriage is for enjoyment when you both of you understand yourself and that is the reason people who doesn't understand marriage will see your marriage and say you have used charm on your husband they don't say the man have used charm on the man on the woman do you not understand what i'm saying everything is on the woman in fact going through the comment section of all of these evidences that have come see osinachi late osinachi Machuku is still being blamed by people a lot of people say why did she have to stay until her death some other people say, why didn't she speak up? Some other people say, why would she think about her stardom? Now she's dead. Osinachi is nowhere to come back and begin to give her own side of the story. A lot of people that say they spoke to her and they asked her, they advised her to leave and she said no. Osinachi is not here to defend herself, to say no, they never advised me to leave. They only told her to stay put that it was going to change. She's not here. She's not here. Dear woman, again I say, 
You don't need to stay put in that relationship that will take your life. Take a walk. This life is gone. It's cut short. It is not the desire of God for anybody to die young. So you can avert it today. Speak out and walk out. For you to live and for your safety. And if you have children already in that marriage, you can be alive and take care of them. Rather than going down six feet and another woman will take care of those children and you will not be here to fight for them. That's my take. If you are a pastor and you have been having people coming to com complain to you about how their husbands are treating them and you have not treated this matter properly, you better repent. Change. If a woman has brought complaint of her husband, the best thing you should do as a pastor is to call in the husband one-on-one -on -one with the woman and you. Let them talk about it. And not for you to speak with the husband separately and speak with the woman separately. Nothing will work because each of them will be thinking, what have you told us? The best way to do it is to call them together. If you notice that there has been violence, as a pastor, advise them to separate. As a pastor, you come in. The, 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 the thing is that people that have problems, their pastors doesn't even go to their home. You are the one that will go to your pastor. And it may take you days because you're going to feel so many forms. And God help you. Let it be that you are not an important person. And I heard that the church they attend, that this her husband is a deacon. Or is it a pastor? I don't know. And a lot of people know about it. So sad. Please, live and fulfill destiny. With this, I sign out. Say no to domestic violence.